The first underwater tunnel built by China in South Asia was opened, costing 7.08 billion yuan for 9.3 kilometers and a service life of 100 years. In this video, let us learn more about it. On October 28, 2023, China's first large diameter underwater shield tunnel overseas, the Bangladesh National Father Tunnel Project, was completed and open to traffic. This project is the first underwater tunnel in South Asia and the first large diameter underwater shield tunnel, constructed by a Chinese company overseas. The Karnafili River Tunnel is constructed by China Communications Construction Group Company, limited with a total contract value of 7.058 billion US dollars. The project adopts Chinese standard design, Chinese equipment construction, and Chinese enterprise management. It is a successful exploration of the construction of the entire industry chain of China Tunnel Overseas and will become a shining business card of China Tunnel overseas. Bangladesh National Father Tunnel is located at the mouth of the Karnafili River in Chittagong City, Bangladesh. The east and west banks of the Karnafili River are connected through an under-river tunnel. The total length of the route is 9.3 kilometers, with a design speed of 80 kilometers per hour, two holes and four lanes. The shield tunnel section is 2,450 meters long and the tunnel diameter is 11.8 meters. Local officials named the tunnel under the Karnafili River the Father of the Nation Tunnel, which fully illustrates the importance of this tunnel. According to reports, this tunnel was built entirely using Chinese standards and technical specifications. Therefore, for Chinese companies, this is a proof of strength. Entering the tunnel, the road is clean, flat, and well lit. The outer diameter of the tunnel is 11.8 meters, the inner diameter is 10.8 meters, and the total length of the double line is 4,900 meters. This channel connecting the east and west sides of the Karnafili River allows the people of Chittagong to bid farewell to the history of relying on ferry transportation on both sides of the river. Chittagong residents said that it used to take about three hours to cross the river, but now it only takes ten minutes. Due to the inconvenience of transportation, the development of the two sides of the Taiwan Strait has become obviously divided. The West Bank is close to the port area and belongs to the center of Chittagong with a prosperous economy. The East Bank is like a forgotten suburb. Chittagong City is the largest port city in Bangladesh, the second most populous city in Bangladesh, and the region with the most developed foreign trade. Data shows that 80% of Bangladesh's international trade and 40% of its industrial output come from Chittagong. Due to the importance of Chittagong, the launch of the Karnafili River Tunnel Project is even more urgent. By undertaking the construction of this tunnel, China shoulders the expectations of the Bangladeshi government and people. The project department overcame a series of difficulties, including technical challenges, the impact of the epidemic, and insufficient supply of raw materials. For tunnel construction, shield machines are indispensable large-scale modern equipment. In March 2018, the shield machine used for the construction of the Karnafili River Tunnel rolled off the production line in Changshu, Jiangsu, China, and was transported to the project site by sea. This tailor-made shield machine was independently developed by China. It is the first super-large diameter shield machine exported by China overseas, and it is also the largest diameter shield machine used in South Asia so far. The shield machine has a diameter of 12.12 meters, a length of 94 meters, and a weight of more than 2,200 tons. The shield machine launches and receives in complex strata, 
and must accurately control the excavation attitude in strata that are soft at the top and hard at the bottom. The CCCC team overcame major construction technical difficulties one after another and helped the shield machine complete a 180-degree rotation. The use of China's domestic shield machines in tunnel projects has also experienced twists and turns. According to reports, Bangladesh has no experience in tunnel construction before, and it follows European, American, Japanese, and Korean standards in large-scale construction projects. When choosing a shield machine, the owner's first tendency is to choose European and American products. In order to convince the owner of the level of Chinese TBMs, China Communications Construction Company specially invited representatives from Bangladesh to come to China to visit domestic tunnel projects and TBM manufacturers. With on-the-spot experience, the owner gained confidence and finally chose Chinese equipment and constructed in accordance with Chinese technical solutions. Later, the owner had doubts about the Chinese technical team. They were worried that the Chinese engineers were too young. China Communications Construction has always paid attention to the construction of Talent Echelon, and most of the key teams on this project are born in the 1980s and 1990s. During the tunnel construction process, the Chinese project team did not have a single safety accident, and its actual performance proved that China's young people are trustworthy. Anyone who understands tunnel construction knows that the construction of communication channels between tunnels is a major pain point. Although the construction scale is small, the risks are high and the difficulty is high. According to the design plan, China will open three communication channels between tunnels. The deepest one is nearly 50 meters deep. People have to dive below 50 meters and freeze the surrounding soil and water through freezing before construction can begin. The longest frozen body is nearly 13 meters. Once something goes wrong, the entire tunnel will be destroyed and the consequences will be disastrous. From May to October 2022, three communication channels will be completed one after another. When the three communication channels were completed, the biggest difficulty of the tunnel project was overcome. On August 2, 2020, the shield machine slowly drove into the steel sleeve of the left line receiving shaft, marking the completion of the left line tunnel under the Karnafili River. Starting on February 24, 2019, after 523 days, the TBM crossed the Karnafili River for the first time. On October 7, 2021, with a huge roar, the shield machine cutterhead broke through the hole and slowly drove into the west line receiving shaft, and the right line was connected. At this point, the Karnafili River Tunnel Project has been connected with both lines. The Karnafili River Tunnel Project demonstrates China's leading tunnel technology to Bangladesh, European and American countries. In this project, China pioneered the first integrated receiving bracket base. The sleeve and base are optimized to put roller skates on the shield machine and 38 sets of steel ball bases similar to abacus beads are installed. Then through intelligent hydraulic pressure, vertical lifting and horizontal pushing, the steel ball base drives the sleeve to translate realizing the overall translational rotation of the large diameter shield machine. Secondly, China has pioneered a complete set of starting segment segment transportation systems. The optimized trolley structure of the system overcomes the huge height difference of 6.45 meters under special circumstances and solves the problem of transporting segments and assemblers when the exposed and buried sections are not deepened, and obtained China's national invention patent. 
Third, China also pioneered the design of integrated formwork tables for the internal structure of tunnels. It has achieved mechanized and streamlined construction of the main structure with strong operability, saved costs and shortened the construction period, and has been highly recognized by international consultants and owners. It is worth mentioning that the tunnel segments used in the project are all from China and are uniformly prefabricated by China Communications Construction Company. There are more than 20,000 segments in total, and a single segment weighs nearly 12 tons. Segment production realizes automatic streamlined operation, adopts new intelligent production lines, and the entire process is controlled by computers. The shield segments are successfully separated from the mold and pushed out from the steam curing kiln. They can only be shipped after passing the inspection and acceptance by the supervisor and overseas owner. In order to reduce damage during transportation, the finished tube segments are carefully packaged according to porcelain standards and shipped on board. Starting from Shanghai port in China, it traveled across the ocean and traveled 3,500 kilometers through the South China Sea and the Strait of Malacca and finally arrived at Chittagong port in Bangladesh, filling the gap in CCCC's large diameter segment exports. The Karnafili River Tunnel is located at the intersection of the 21st century Maritime Silk Road. As an important part of the Bangladesh-China-India-Myanmar Economic Corridor, the Bangladesh Tunnel is an important link in the joint construction of the Belt and Road and an important part of the Bangladesh-China-India-Myanmar Economic Corridor. After the completion of the project, it will play an important role in improving the Asian highway network, promoting connectivity between Bangladesh and neighboring countries, and promoting Bangladesh's international development. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.